Hello everyone, my name is Omar Farouk Gökmen and we are together with another fruitful tutorial. In this tutorial, as you see, we will bend the tree. So it's very easy to do. We will just use an effect which is CC Bandit. Okay, I don't want to waste your time. Let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. First of all, I, I want to choose this tree. Yes, that one. Click Solo. Let's make it Solo. All right. Come to the Effect and Preset panel. Type CC Bandit. This one. And apply on the layer. Perfect. Now we don't see anything about that. So first of all, come to the Effects and Controls panel. Let's choose Start Point and put a pin here. Perfect. As you notice, we can see the tree. Okay, good. Let's drag and let's choose the end point and make it here. If you want, you can increase and decrease this visible area. Perfect. Let's put it here and come to the end point. You may not see that. Let's uncheck the transparent grid. So, as you see, this is the bottom area. Perfect. Let's put it here and come again here. Create a keyframe for band. Press U on the keyboard so that we can see the keyframes. Let's put this keyframe here for the 15 second as you see. And come here to the 10 second. You can type here 10 and 00. zero. Perfect. And we need to band it. So let's come to the band and make it here. Let's increase the amount, not too much, maybe minus 2, perfect. Again, go to the next keyframe, make it plus 2. Okay, let's go to the 20 second and copy this keyframe, Control C, Control V. And choose all of the keyframes, let's make it easy so that it can be smooth animation let's see the animation for this tree let's see the animation as you see we have did a great job it is it has a natural movement so in just a few clicks and just one effect as cc bandit we created an awesome tree animation inside of after effects okay guys if you find this tutorial helpful Please leave a like and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask on the comment section below. We will try to respond your questions and solve your problems as soon as possible. Alright, see you next tutorial.